Hi everybody, it's Brad here again. Quick update, we're in Bagan in Myanmar, quick update. The sun's about to set right now, but I'm literally prefacing this conversation with what's about to follow in the video series where we literally were um, just riding along in our electric scooter and literally a little girl stopped us and asked us if we were interested in doing a tour into her village of 600 people and the name of the village i don't know the name of it right now off the top of my head but it should be on your screen right now i'll find out what it is and um and literally we've just come out of their village and were exposed to some amazing insights to how they eat um, the peanuts that they collect in these giant cauldrons how they grind the peanuts up we even you know sat down with a 92 year old grandma and she you know literally is weaving cotton you know with this little tiny weaver thing and then all of a sudden she breaks out with a cigar and starts smoking a cigar so anyway it's going to be really fun i want you to watch the next couple of minutes where we take you on a tour and i'll show you some clips of that um, experience and then i'll come back to what we're about to watch now which is the sunset so i hope you enjoy Farmer. Yeah. So we grow in the village is the cotton, peanut and sesame. Uh -huh. So the three is we are main growing other kinds of the thing we grow as well. And so this one is the house. And see in this big basket there is a lot of peanut. In here? Yeah. Now the time is to collect the sesame plant, but before the sesame is we collect the peanut. Oh look at that. <laughs> look how many peanuts there are. Oh, that's, amazing. that's cool. In here, if we grow the peanut and sesame, that is to use for the cooking oil. We, mm -hmm. we do by we grind it ourselves, and mm -hmm. we can use that. Mm -hmm. It does bamboo wall is we use like twenty year. After twenty year, we have a change. Okay. And the use the roof is the metal. The metal is good for the rain cover, so better than palm leaf and better mm -hmm. than bamboo. But for this area and with the metal is really hot. It's the cover with the bamboo or some palm leaf. They can cover. It. See this one as well. Mm -hmm. Over is the metal and inside is the bamboo. So we have two pair uh, of the group. <coughs> oh wow. They, they do the group and they're going off. <laughs> Oh wow. Lala, Lala, Lala. Oh my baby. Hello. Hello, baby. Hello. 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 That one is big one, but there is more beautiful. Oh, we eat Bala. Bala, there when I'm in the morning. I love it. Wow, okay. He draws some art from the temple of the seal. Some are his creation. Some like Bagan Bu, some the monk. Mm -hmm. And that that one is one the village of Brahma. She's smoking. I love that. 
Det er Pia i, der er bolejner. Der er et eller andet. Hvad er det? 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 Hvad Cotton. Yeah, cotton. And then glue. And just the glue. And then mm -hmm. sand. This is the sand. And then sand. This is yeah. the line. Color. Yeah, and the colors. Have you ever heard of this? No. Never seen that. That one is the draw. Yeah. That one is no drawing. This is smaller knife if the carving. Cut. Ah, cut. carving. Oh. Carving if they're not yes. even a long time. Yes. She looks so much nicer than now in Vietnam. Really? Yeah. Oh, so sad in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Oh, tofu. All the thing is the amazing with the rice. Rice powder and the amazing with like watercress or some chili. Yeah. Some the gut fruit, some the bean. What's the one with the green? You mean which one? The green one? The green. The chili leaf. Oh, tea leaf. Tea no, leaf. Chi. Tea leaf. Spicy. So spicy. Chili leaf. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are these ones? Trophy. That is um, chili. Um, Try. Yeah. How, how, can I, how much can I give you? For, how much? How much? How much? Up to you. Mm. Oh, gosh, so hot. Okay. You can you can try and that one. everything. Yeah. <laughs> try everything. I'm excited. <laughs> so they what sort of machine is this? So uh, it's a cotton making yeah, that machine. Is cotton. And then they weave now. The weaving is for the blanket. If the blanket is, they have to take to make like three weeks for one blanket. Yes. After they weave, just the round and inside. Is the if the feed is the coconut shell. That's left and right. The change and then the weave. For one family. Yeah. And this family, big family. So. Yeah. You see by all the plates. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve people, three generations. Wow. wow! Three generations. <laughs> wow! Some of the people in the village, so if you born their children, their children, they got it married. They don't move to other places. Just in the parents' home is the big one, so they're living together. So mm. this house is two floors, so they're living together. But some of the people, it's not like that. They don't. They have a small house, but they're a big compound, so they see like two. One place for two houses, three houses, we can be okay. still together. Tanaka. Oh, tana. <laughs> Kalaka. <laughs> Kalaka. <laughs> Smell like your wood. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Tanaka is. We got it from the tree, but Tanaka is just the bark. At the bark? Mm -hmm. That is Tanaka, so okay. the wood is empty if we use just for the fire. fire. So you try? Yeah. Yeah, put it on your face. Hi. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh wow, nuts. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you. Wow, incredible. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. And me. Mom, you're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able <laughs> this is the best. I love it. It's just so <laughs> soft. It's the best. I love her. Can I take her home? You can do it. <laughs> I love it. 
grandma she's having the biggest cigar this is secret to life i love it amazing yeah, Uzi. Yes, i'm so content Oh. She started to smoke that cigar in over 20 years old. Really? Yeah. And then she's smoking like before, she smoked a lot. She's talking, but now her, her age and she's smoking like just hold it for two cigars. This is the best. I've never quite been in a cultural experience like this before. <laughs> if you try to. Yeah, it's like a cigar. Yeah, cigar. <laughs> Go on, Robsy. Not too strong, just for the tea sweet, but slowly smoking, yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is the Palaka workshop. Yeah. Sap, yeah? Yeah. From the tree? Yeah. And this is the setup where we grind the lacquer. Oh, smell that smell. And this is the lacquer setup. Oh, look at that. Yeah, wow, that's cool. When it is come off from the tree, it's not a black, black color. Yeah. It's cream color. Yeah. It slowly, slowly change to black by oxidation. This is the setup where we grind the lacquer. Here you can see the cotton. And this is also cotton. We need to put the water with the water again. Yep. and then yep. plant the lacquer and put it inside it because the lacquer can, cannot dry with the sunlight mm -hmm. it can dry only with humidity humid mm -hmm. that's when we have a three cellars like that to dry right. to dry one layer it takes a week the tree, the sap yeah, the sap of the tree it's called a sap of... Maronia Uzipata the mm -hmm. name of the tree that we call lacquer tree okay. it's found in the north in the lake area yeah yeah. Eastern part of Myanmar. Uh-huh. Okay. Update for the vlog. We're about to watch the sunset. Our first sunset here in Burma. And we're actually getting a guided tour with one of the village girls. And uh, I'll go into more detail about the tour later, but just wanted to chop in here and and um, show everybody this really cool path that we're taking here in Bagan Dirt Track. Robin and Yo-Yo, it's her name is guiding us on this tour um, is ahead of me right now but literally the sun's about to set and check this out real quick I'm literally surrounded by temples pagodas and and the white temple right there behind me it's absolutely sensational it's really peaceful the Sun is setting on on top of over the top of that it's just absolutely amazing if I just turn the camera around you'll see these pagodas literally surrounding me right now if I zoom in You'll see them all the way around. Robin and Yo-Yo, they're walking ahead of me. And if I zoom out, I keep turning, you'll see the sunset right there. And you'll see these little pointy things, which are little pagodas and they're standing up everywhere for as far as the eye can see. It's absolutely out of this world and back to the White Temple. We came out of that little hole to get to the top of this pagoda, like right behind you, right there. That's where the staircase is. Okay, everybody, this is the end of the day, 10th of December, our first full day here in Bagan, Myanmar. Amazing day. Hopefully you enjoyed the highlights. Tried to edit this as best as possible. It's been a massive day. <laughs> Trying some of the local food and being on an e-bike and cruising around and going through the markets and, and buying Christmas presents for family members and yeah, just having a good time learning about the local culture, the local village here. Yo-Yo, what's the name of the village? Menatu. Menatu. And a little tour through Menatu village here in Bagan. And then just saw the sunset now at which pagoda? No name. No name. <laughs> I don't know how many. 3,000. How many? Over 3,000 pagodas here. <laughs> and we saw the sunset from no name. 
Yeah, so now we're walking back to the bike. Tonight we're going to close it off with a wine or something, but tomorrow we are going hot air ballooning over Pagan. So tomorrow's video will be hot air ballooning. And then after that will be probably pagoda exploring. Something like that, we don't yeah. know. We don't that's know. That area on the map that's got a wall around it, it looks like. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So stick around, it's going to be amazing. Have an awesome night, morning, wherever you are in the world, tuning out from Bagan. Goodbye.